But as I so often say to the guys that started this with us, that we started on a dusty field behind Choprat and Makaza Kailicha, and, and now we've got our own 3,000 seater grandstand. And you know, that just fills me with, with a lot of pride in, in, in how far we've come, but also with a sense of what comes next, what we can turn this into and, and where we can take it. Club rugby is, uh, I think, very, very important. It is for most communities, especially, all they have. It is amazing how, how far they will go to support their team. They pack our stadiums full and we as well, and then um, it's just a lack of gears. Um, so we're at what was known as NTK, Noordelijke uh, Teigenberg Club, I'll do my best Afrikaans. It's now known as Connect NTK and it's uh, the latest addition to the Connect family um, and will become increasingly important in the, in the next phase of, of what Connect's doing. I've been helping the club uh, fight relegation battles for the last year or two and then I made a proposal to them around partnering with Connect and so the idea behind the proposal was to take Connect's culture and to marry it with uh, the club's tradition. And so we're in pre-season, second week of, of the, the rebirth of the club. And it's really an opportunity for us to manage our ecosystem a little bit better and to manage the, the pathways that uh, we create. So especially for those guys that don't necessarily get professional contracts directly out of school and the late bloomers or the rough diamonds, just a, just a way for us to kind of have more control over that. Um, there has been 23 Springboks that played for this club. The biggest of them all will be Henny Miller. President of the club, Mr. Mike Furry. He was a big force who uh, brought in a lot of these Springboks like uh, Tian Strauss. Tony Gerber played here, Chester Williams, 95 World Cup, he played here, 95-96 Corner Krieger, Springbok captain, also played here for us, uh, Tox van der Linde, if I can just uh, think of a few of them now, it's all big Springboks that played here in that glory days for the club. In 1966 the club won the Grand Challenge Cup or the Super A League of Western Province for the first time. And we are also the only club that can say that we have won the Super A League five times in a row from 92 to 96. That's now accepted to universities. We are the only club that has won it five times in a row. And I think that is a big accomplishment for any club. The club is now 73 years old and with Connect Academy uh, involved and the big talent they are bringing, we are working towards um, 2026 when the club will be 75 years old. With them on board, there has been a lot of improvements and th with their facilities and their resources to develop them and give them opportunity in the, uh, the rugby culture at the club at the moment in the Super A League, give them that window to use and to play and show off their talents with the hope that they will be um, seen by a, a provincial scout or be incorporated into a provincial structure to play for a Curry Cup team or eventually for the Stormers or maybe the Lions or the Sharks even, you never know. So uh, Lucanio Vokazela as well played last year for our club. We were so fortunate to get him uh, via the Connect um, channel. He is now playing provincial rugby. And in my opinion, he will uh, in a few years times play for, for the Springboks as well. That's how good he is. And I think it's a big step for us as a club to change and to change the whole culture of a club. A club is coming on for 70 plus years and, and we have to change the culture and, and that's very important at this stage. 
Our main aim, I think, is, is definitely to advance these players into a provincial level, to give them the opportunities. Um, so this project is, is, is a three to five year project. That is what it is. I think it's important that we keep these guys here um, in the houses, give them the opportunities. Um, and maybe in a five years time, we've got a lot of possibilities we can do with the club, especially with the facilities we've got. Um, I think club rugby, is half professional at this stage. I don't think like an amateur arm can only run the club. So we have to look at combining a professional arm and an amateur arm um, to get together to do the whole club rugby thing because we got the youth rugby um, at this stage. So previous years was four teams. Now we talk about 10 to 12 teams that we have to organize. So, and that getting more difficult and difficult, so we have to do it in other ways as we've done it previously. So it's been a tough first season. Uh, we've got a really young squad, but what's amazing is in our first team, we got about seven under 20 players, and some of them are players like Mister, that you know was one of the kids that you know gave me the idea to start the academy. Played in our first side, he's playing centre in the first team, having finished at Saks High School last year, and 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 that, that's really the reason why we need the club because somebody like Mister has enormous talent, but hasn't really. Uh, reached uh, a point in his career where he's found the right opportunity. But give him a year or two playing with us and that opportunity is going to come. What really excites me, I've got some incredibly talented uh, women players in Ghana. So we are planning to develop our own women's rugby program here. And I'm really hoping to bring quite a lot of my Ghanaian international players hoping to convince some of my uh, South African players that I've developed to, to come and play for the club too. And I'm really excited about that. It's a great time to be involved in women's rugby and girls rugby. Uh, my own daughter plays rugby too and uh, she's finishing matric this year so hopefully she'll come play for the club next year too.